Hey everybody, Dan here from Mandolins and Beer, Charleston, South Carolina. Um, real quick, first off, I want to thank everybody for all the uh, positive compliments and everything, all the nice words and all the great things and the subscriptions on the YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate it. This week, we're going to work on a new lick um, and introduce a new beer. Uh, as well. The lick this week is a Vassar Clemens lick that I picked up off of a YouTube video with um, Sam Bush and Dominic Leslie to the key of G once again and um, I'm also going to play it with my Sam Bush pick that I uh, got when I got to meet him uh, in Charleston what, last year? Maybe almost two years ago now. So, without further ado, the lick. The beer. Uh, this week's beer, Lazy Magnolia. Uh, it's a Mississippi brewery, Southern Pecan, the original Pecan Nut Brown Ale. Um, they label it as smooth, sweet, English-style brown ale, and it is everything that uh, it says there in that title. It is tasty, sweet but not too sweet, uh, just an excellent brown ale. Uh, I, I, I highly recommend it. Um, it's a beer so nice, I'm drinking it twice. This is number two tonight here. I just brought this one up. It's still ice cold, the condensation on the bottle. I uh, can't wait to crack another one open here for the breakdown. Um, and to note, they, uh, they take a pride in their beer. Check this little, little saying out on the bottle. Yeah, it was a bronze award winner in the specialty beer category of the 2006 World Beer Cup. But... They do not brew their beers for awards. They brew them for us. It's respectable, people. And it's tasty. So this week, week number two, mandolins and beer, Lazy Magnolia, Southern Pecan, the original Pecan Nut Brown Ale. Fantastic. And uh, I will definitely be highlighting a suggestion next week from one of the Mandolin Cafe um, postings. You guys had some awesome postings, and uh, I can't wait for the challenge. Um, but alas, we're going to have to wait another week for week number three. But, without further ado, the breakdown. So, here is the breakdown of the lick. Um, the lick itself, the pattern is, is kind of easy um, because it's, it's the same finger pattern all the way through, um, but it's the, the lick itself is, is kind of difficult in the fact of trying to fit it in through the song and, and um, playing it to speed, because it is, well, it's it's just the same pattern going down the neck. You do it descending and ascending, descending, ascending, descending, ascending, descending, ascending. Um, but playing it quick is a little more challenging. So to, to show you where it's at, um, it's in in this song. I'm going to show you it's in G as we spoke. And it's going to start on the, on the five note, which is D. And the first, the first part of the lick is just, you're going to have two frets between your fingers. You use your uh, index finger and your ring finger. And so you're going to start off on the ring finger, which is the D to the B. And then you're going to go G to E. And it's the descending part of it. So it's... And then you just move down a fret. And now you're going to play it ascending. And, but you're going to do it on D sharp right there. But, and you're going to go up. The same pattern, but you're going to end this time on C sharp. And then you're going to go down half a step, which is C to D. And then you're just going to slide down another fret. So that's going to be C sharp to B. And you're going to slide down another fret. And it is going to be uh, A sharp, ending on C. And then one more time, you're going to slide back and you're going to do another ascending, um, which is the B and ends on A, and then you're going to strum the G. So, um, real slowly here, here is the lick, so it's descending, ascending, descending, ascending, descending, and one more time.
And that's it. And if you want to put it in other keys, like if you want to put it in A, so instead of starting on D, you would move up to the 5 of A, which is E. And that's it. Um, so now, the, the, the trickier part is fitting it into a song. Um, and where it's going to fit is after you're doing like a progression, you can do it in a bluegrass progression, progression or a blues, 12 bar blues, but um, the song that I made it first stick in where I was like, oh, I got it, and it, it just happened after practicing the lick, um, was in Folsom Prison Blues. The band um, that I was playing with plays it in G, which is, uh, you know, it's a little bit higher than the normal one, but it fit perfect for this lick, and I was like, oh, and it was, um, it was magical. So anyway, uh, I'll give you an example of that. Uh, so in the solo where that really cool um, Folsom Prison lick is. That's it. So uh, thanks for checking it out. Subscribe to get all the videos. Uh, subscribe button somewhere down there. So thanks again. Mandolins and beer.